in the book Sirens of Titan, there's a character who thinks too much, and so the authorities are going to erase his memory. It turns out they've erased his memory several times. And each time before he knows he's going to have his memory erased, he writes a note to his self after the, after the operation to remind him important things to know, important things to keep in mind. And that little note becomes the refuge for the person after he comes out of the operation. He finds the note and is able to remember things and keep in mind things that are going to be useful to know. Well, that's what our refuge is. The Buddha says that mindfulness is our refuge. This is how we make ourselves a refuge. Keeping in mind the things he taught, keeping in mind the lessons he gave about what's skillful and what's unskillful. Because when a strong emotion overtakes the mind, it's like having your memory erased. You need to be reminded, okay, this is what's real in life, this is what's true, this is what's valuable. Otherwise, in the new world of your emotion, your values get all screwed, skewed, and screwed. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's good to have a memory of what the Buddha said. Okay, this is what reality is. This is what's important. This is what's important to watch out for. This is what's important to encourage. That becomes your refuge. It's like the string out of the maze. You know the story about the person who goes into the maze. Nobody else can get out, and the minotaur eats the person. But in this case, the person leaves a string behind so he can follow the string out and come out to safety. So always keep in mind the basic lessons the Buddha taught about what's skillful, what's unskillful, the fact that our actions really do make a difference, and that the results of our actions last not only in this lifetime but also into future lifetimes. The Buddha didn't teach that just as a result of his cultural background. That was a hotly debated talk, topic at the time whether there was life after death, and if so, if your actions had any effect on it. And the Buddha said, for the sake of your practice, take that as a work, working hypothesis, that there is a life after death, and the goodness we do in this lifetime goes into that lifetime. And the goodness we do, we can also dedicate to others. And if they find out about it and they appreciate it, that becomes their goodness. So these are good things to remember when a sudden, very strong emotion overtakes you, and you feel like doing something that's not in line with the Buddha's teachings, you can remember, okay, this is something that the Buddha said no. And keep that in mind. That's your, that's your lifeline. As we go through the various emotions that hit us during the day, or throughout life, the emotions that take us into another world, well, this brings us back into the world of the Dharma, which is the world in which we can find true happiness.